Welcome, I'm Maliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. When is it that you're supposed to listen to your heart and when is it that you're supposed to listen to your head? How do you know? And what does listening to your heart mean and what does listening to your head mean? Many of us really have a very set idea of what it means to listen to your heart and what it is to listen to your head. I'm going to explain my way of seeing it, how it is that I believe this works and what it is that it means and how it is that you can choose. Now, when it is that you have a decision to make or you're thinking about someone, you're thinking about something, what are you thinking with? Are you thinking with your mind? Are you thinking with your subconscious? With your subconscious thoughts and desires? Or with your conscious thoughts and desires? Are you thinking of what it is you want to be experiencing here in the physical? Or there, is there something deeply spiritual, deeply um, energy-wise moving you forward? Is there this inner connection? Or is it that you feel because of this inner connection that you are meant to be doing something, thinking something, experiencing something, and you have this inner guidance, this inner knowing, and it seems to be taking you step by step along the way. All of these can be happening. And the thing is that they can happen throughout your day and you can shift from one to the other. It doesn't mean that throughout your day you think with your mind or throughout the day you think with your heart. Now, I'm going to explain what I believe thinking with your mind is and what thinking with your heart is. Thinking with your mind has your logic, has the knowledge that you're consciously aware of, it also has the subconscious. And scientifically, it has been proven that the majority of your thoughts and actions, that what it is that you experience, say, and do, comes from your subconscious. It is not things that you consciously choose. And that means that there's something there under the surface driving everything forward. Everything you've seen, everything you've said, everything you've experienced, it's stored in your subconscious. You may consciously not even know that you've seen this person, that you've heard this thing, that you've built this belief, that you've created this thought, and yet it is affecting you. And that is thinking with your mind. You also have all the knowledge from the books, from the videos, from the lessons, from your parents, from everything that you have picked up knowledge from. We pick up knowledge all through our day, whether we're aware of it or not. And you have thinking with your heart. Many people confuse thinking with your heart, that you're thinking with your emotions. That's not what I believe thinking with your heart is. Not it's not that you're letting your feelings guide you. I believe that thinking with your heart, thinking with your core, is thinking with the knowledge and the wisdom that is in your heart and core. Deep in your heart, deep in your core, deep in the heart and the core of each and every one of us, of everyone, of everything, there is this core connection, something that connects us all. And because we are all connected and everything is connected in our heart and in our core, it means you have the knowledge of all, which means that everything everyone has experienced, has said, has done, it's stored within you. You can access it from your heart and from your core. The more you become aware of energy and you're able to, become, to move into being in tune with this, you can access knowledge. This thing where you get this inner knowing, you know what it is you should say, you know what it is you should do, you know the best way to move forward. And many times, if someone were to ask you, but why are you supposed to do this or that? You don't know, you just know that that's what you're supposed to say and do, and that it's this choice coming from within you. It's not that you're supposed to say it in something 
other than you has made this decision for you. You know it. You want it. It's like your will, what you will, what you want to be experiencing, what you want to be happening, what you want to move into, aligns with the will of all, what everyone and everything wants. And when this happens and it all moves together, it's extremely powerful. It brings you forward into something amazing because everyone's supporting it. Now, when it is that you think with your head, with your mind, or with your heart, what happens is if you put these two together and you're in your heart center, you're in your core, but you're also using your mind as a beautiful tool, you're not centering your thought in your mind, allowing your subconscious to keep flowing forward and for things to randomly be coming into your beliefs and thoughts and things that have been picked up along the way, but you are in your power, in your wisdom, in your knowledge, and you have the information from your mind as an extra tool, then this is the best. This is powerful. And answering the question, when should you think with your mind and when should you think with your heart? I believe that in nearly all situations, you should be in your heart center and you should use the knowledge and the wisdom from within you with your logic, with your mind, consciously choosing. The more you move into consciously choosing and you become more conscious, more aware, aware of why it is you are making this choice, why it is the best choice, the best for you, the best for all, then you become more expansive, more high frequency, more high vibrational, because you're in tune. You're in tune with everyone and everything around you. You're in your greatest power. This information is there. Your knowledge is there. Your wisdom is there. Find the balance. Move into being heart-centered and thinking with clarity. It's no longer blurred and foggy from your subconscious. You have clear thinking. You know that this is what I choose. This is what I want. This is the best. I wish the best, all the best for you. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also remember to like.